mask for me is just in a way to represent my culture and it's not a halloween thing like i would never use this as a halloween costume hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new and you do not know me hi my name is michelle thank you for clicking on this video hopefully you like it and then the subscribing at the end and if you don't like it still subscribe so for today's video um it's not a halloween look um it's more of like a tradition and i want to show you guys what it means and everything and so that's what i'm going to be doing what i'm going to be doing it's known to be la catrina so basically la catrina is a it's a is a woman right it's a woman that symbolizes um day of the dead dia de los muertos and she is very very beautiful very elegant and she is typically covered in um paint in face paint and in a way like skeleton like you know um specifically like the face like as a skull and many of you guys know like sugar skulls like that's that's what a lot of um families sell during this time of the year dia de los muertos sugar skulls and so dia de los muertos is just a time to remember our loved ones and i like i don't want this to be a rant but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be that. I don't want it to be so long either, but um, Dia de los Muertos, it's a tradition that is to be respected and honored. Um, and I say this with very, with such anger because like my school is hosting a party, a theme party that they do annually. It's an annual event and that's the theme. Um, Dia de los Muertos, even though they say it's celebrating life instead of using Dia de los Muertos, which is complete bullshit. And so I wasn't like okay with the idea at all um, because it's like, it's a, it's a tradition that you're supposed to respect and like you could respect it by like not having it as a party, as a theme for a party. Dia de los Muertos is known to be from Mexico, but the, the thing is, it's not only from Mexico. Like there are so many other Latin countries that celebrate Dia de los Muertos and it's very, very different. Like in some other countries, it's more of a moment to be with family, grief, pray, go to church, you know, those type of traditions and routines that they do during this time of year. Personally, what my family does, we um, we typically put like an ofrenda, and I'm gonna like show you guys a picture, and we just set up like foods that our loved ones used to eat, their drinks, um, candy, water, um, any type of beverages. We would put like these special types of flowers, and. Um, Flores de Muerto, it's like, I'll show you guys a picture, but we would put those flowers around it, and they're very, very expensive, especially they're, they only, they're only around here, like, in the U.S., well, not in the U.S., but, like, in New York, they're typically around during this time of the year, and that's it, and they're so expensive, like, three of those, um, bundles like it comes with three flowers and it costs like ten dollars so it's very expensive and we would have like a picture you know because it's a way for them to know that that's where they're going to be at it's a way for them to come home you know the movie coco um very well um describes and um shows what dia de los muertos is and it like the whole plot of miguel um falling into this land of the dead and trying to find his way back home and meeting some of his old, like, you know, past um, aunts, uncles, cousins, you know? And so that's like what it is. It's a very beautiful time of the year in Mexico because they celebrate it in a way where it's like, they honor their families, you know, but not in a way that it's a party. And that gets me so frustrated because it's like, I would think that people here would know better than to make it a party and we're college students so it's not like we're gonna come in like okay we're gonna pray like we can't do that but it's like people will come in drunk they will come in tipsy they will come in lit like and it's not the time or place to be doing that shit and it's insane because out of all these the things that are out there to host a party you choose a tradition where it's supposed to honor the dead be with family that's it 
be with family and respect the dead. That's all you gotta do. But instead, you wanna host a party and what? Why? It's like, what makes you think that's okay? It's like, I don't understand like what went through the club's head to think that it's okay to have that as a theme. It just gets me so frustrated because it's like, bro, it's not fucking hard. It's not rocket science to think of another theme. It's really not. And this theme was brought up so many times last year and the year before that, and it kept getting like shut down. It kept like many people kept saying, no, it's not okay. But now, like somehow y'all got a way around it and it's like, what the fuck? And if certain people get offended by this, I don't care. This is me voicing my opinion. And I feel very like, not I, but like my culture, I feel like it's being so disrespected by Latinos and it's not okay. So I'm gonna start by trying to put my hair out my face so now that i have my hair out my face what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna moisturize my face so basically like la catrina is um a woman that's very elegant she typically uses long dresses you know um and like it's mexican clothing you know mexican like dresses and robosos and stuff like that and it's really really beautiful there's a lot of times where um in mexico there are specific dates where they celebrate it and they have like um what's that what's that word called desfiles they have um parades um showing like the basically the the art of it you know and they have like like skulls and catrinas catrines like lined up music and just everyone honoring like their loved ones so i'm gonna prime my face with the next um primer i am gonna use like the la girl um white mixing foundation for my face because that's that's what it is like the katrina she has a white face and then it's like um colored in with colors and different designs and so i'm gonna show you guys what it is and what it looks like okay so i am going to use this foundation and i'm gonna put it on my skin you know and i'm gonna try to blend that into my skin another thing that frustrates like my soul is that when people use it as a costume like it's not meant to be for a costume that's why i said in the beginning of my video this is not a costume this is not a halloween makeup look to use for a costume i just hate when people use it as a costume and they think that it's supposed to be something sexy you know like like no that's not what it is like la catrina is a beautiful woman that is very elegant and she usually wears like long dresses i don't have a dress but i have like this traditional mexican shirt um this is the one that my mom actually got me from mexico when they went to mexico that's so frustrating because a lot of people do it here in here they, a lot of people do it here and it's so frustrating and i see it a lot in, like back home or like for me is just in a way to represent my culture and it's not a halloween thing like i would never use this as a halloween costume it's different like i feel like it's different in the way you dress it and the way you use it like i feel like the the clothing attire to it is very important because it really represents the the culture and the the la catrina and what it means i am just put a little bit more white you know to make it wider and day of the dead is like coming up you know it's usually well the way i was raised it usually starts on the 31st of um october and it runs all the way to the 2nd of november which is like really soon and um in mexico sometimes it starts earlier sometimes it starts like the 27th i believe of october and then lasts all the way to the 2nd of november now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the pomade the anastasia pomade for my eyebrows i'm gonna use that for um the circle on my eye so it's gonna go above my eyebrow so basically i'm gonna just concentrate on this i'm a perfectionist you guys so i just used a cap of something to draw the circles to make it even because i i'm a perfectionist so now i'm just filling the the circles in 
you know? I'm probably gonna fill this in with eyeshadow. So now that we have the eyes done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the designs that's gonna go around here, which is I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do like red designs on the top, on like the outside of the circle. And I'm gonna use um, the Fenty lipstick to do that. So I'm gonna try to do this as even as possible, you know, cause I'm a very, <laughs> I like things to be perfect. So I'm just gonna start. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to I'm gonna just let it dry, you know? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like designs on this part of my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like some sort of like spider web thing. So I'm gonna draw like a V. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw like two more lines going like this and then one in the middle. I just drew one straight line down the middle while I try to do it in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like curved lines. There you go, you guys. This was like super hard. It was really hard to do this part, but um, I got it done. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to do something here. Yeah, I'm going to use the shade Boutique from the James Charles palette and I am going to like try to do like a circle here i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna just show you guys what i mean okay there the thing is with like the skull thing everything has to be symmetrical and identical which is very very hard but now i'm gonna go into boutique and i'm gonna shade in this part right here like this i'm also gonna dip into the shade spooky which is a black shade and i'm gonna put it right here Okay, there you guys. I did this part, which was a little bit of blending to the max, you know? From like a black to a really, really bright red, or at least to a bright red. Okay, there you go, you guys. We're almost done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, some design on like the cheekbone. So now that we have that done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like some sort of line on by my eyebrows. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like, sort of like an S. So like that, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like white dots on top of the like little S thing. I'm gonna put like a silver thing on the red dot okay you guys so i added a couple of sparkles so i used on this eye i used the nyx um glitter and silver and then on this side i used the disco lady from ColourPop glitter i'm just gonna put on some lashes i don't think you're gonna really see my lashes because they're black okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my lips and i'm gonna do my lips red um so i'm gonna do that right now the lines so now i'm gonna draw the lines coming down now that i'm done with like the lips you know um i'm going to draw like some design here so what i did i did like a little like petals at the bottom and what I'm gonna do is I am going to dip into your kidding which is a red and I'm actually gonna pack it in and finally um, something that is known for Dia de los Muertos Dia de Dar la Catrina is their headpieces so basically a lot of their headpieces are really really big um, hats with a lot of flowers or it's like a big um, headband of full of flowers and so i actually made one i made this and i really wanted to like get the hat but the hat is very expensive so i just made this one on my own <laughs>
guys this is the final product um the final look and i really really hope you guys enjoy um learning about it because i did tell you guys a little bit about it and what it means and what it represents specifically in my country in my country is mexico because i am part mexican part puerto rican and so that's what i practice that's what my family does that's how i was raised and i'm completely in love with this tradition i completely love it um it's something very very personal to me dia de los muertos day of the dead is practiced in many latin countries but specifically you know for me in mexico this is what we do i told you guys how like we set up ofrendas and the food the beverages the pictures you know and sometimes even like back home back you know in mexico people do pray almost every day they spend their entire day at the church or visiting their loved ones at the you know at the cemetery and just spending quality time with them and remembering and everything so i really hope you guys learned something i'm not like an expert on dia de los muertos of course i am still learning you know and I just like sharing, you know, what I do, where I'm from, you know, because I am part Mexican, I am part Puerto Rican, so I'm, I feel very comfortable sharing you guys with, like, my traditions and what I do, and I would love to hear um, what you guys do, you know, for Day of the Dead if you do celebrate it. So in a way, La Catrina is, like, a symbolism that is used to represent Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead and she is a very beautiful woman very very beautiful very very elegant and she uses very long dresses um whichever color could be red blue black white like it doesn't matter but it's typically like you know mexican clothing very long dresses um and the head pieces it could be like this type of headpiece or it could be like a very very big hat i don't know if you guys remember I don't know if you guys remember from the movie Coco, like um, the mom, no, who was it? I don't know who, I don't remember who, but they would have like a really, really big hat, you know, like a sombrero, and that's what they typically use, you know? So basically, La Catrina and La um, they're very beautiful, elegant women and male and man, you know, used to represent Dia de los Muertos. Again, this is not a Halloween makeup look. Um, I don't do this for halloween at all i just wanted to tell you guys and show you guys what it is and what it looks like because here at my school um they're using it as a theme and it's halloween you know like halloween people think that it's like a good idea to dress up and like go and like i think it like really depends on what you wear with it and like how you use it because like in mexico a lot of um, people have like parades and stuff dressed like this but they do it in a way that's like celebrating life and remembering those who died and i feel like the u.s is very different when it comes to that they don't know how to use like other people's cultures and respect it they don't know how to respect it and so this is like something elegant not sexy not like sexual not none of that shit like that's not how it is like that's completely disrespecting the whole culture so that is it you guys a little like wrap up you know i don't want to make this video too long but i really hope you guys learned something and just you know thank you for listening you know and hearing my little rant um because it it is very bothering you know knowing that there's a party with this theme it's very very disrespectful and i'm not 100% they get 100% I'm not okay with it at all but what can you do nothing so I'm just happy that I voiced my opinion and yeah to wrap it up I really hope you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up subscribe click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video don't forget to tell your mom your sister your uncle your neighbor your barber your boyfriend your girlfriend whoever it may be to check out my youtube channel so like comment and subscribe and have a good day or have a good night wherever you are bye guys